So, uh, something that I found really interesting today um, was the presentation um, on the collective action research, um, and particularly useful to to have um, you know some really kind of rigorous um, findings um, around the fact that um, you know increased income may not necessarily lead to more control at household level. Uh, one important uh, thing that I heard today is that uh, how much we have to still integrate. Uh, the gender justice aspect and the adaptation and risk reduction aspects. In regards to DRR, the disaster risk reduction and the climate change adaptation, um, especially the PVA tool, so the um, pre-vulnerability assessment tool. Um, so seeing how I can um, use that um, and step it down to some of our partners in the community and farmers associations. So, for example, in Burundi, what we are doing is we are trying to include women organizations in our partners. That's one thing. Then we are trying to discuss which are the effects of the value chain for women, with women. Okay? So taking on consideration women when designing our value chain. An emerging issue um, in Nigeria is climate change. Um, last year, he had a Category 2 flooding um, that happened, which affected 2 million people um, in Nigeria. So it was a big deal. So um, even though like we had early warnings and our farmers um, were um, warned, but it wasn't a regular thing. We haven't had a flood um, in that type of size in, in many decades. So I think right now um, a lot of farmers, because a lot of farms got destroyed and crops, so they're thinking about, you know, how can they adapt and, and um, build resistance um, to prevent um, th this type of disaster. Our region, um, I think uh, one of the things that we're doing um, is trying to use parts of Step B um, around the household analysis um, to help us design our programs more effectively, um, particularly um, in Azerbaijan. Um, uh, we've done some work around using the flower diagrams to kind of map out areas of um, uh, women's negotiation, um, potential areas um, that they, there's mo most room for negotiation on. It's uh, the exercise on facilitating women's agency. So I think for me that is an important exercise whereby you strengthen your um, analysis of how you link your household analysis to the market analysis. There's something that we want to do, and I think that after this workshop we will be able to do. It's to do proper gender, uh, gender market analysis. Yeah? Like this kind of gender market that we have seen in different programs. Uh, we have tried several times, but what we have is normal value chain, and then we try to add gender. But I think that the challenge is to do this at the same time. Trying to look a little bit more into how to make these terms that we are working in, working with as Oxfam, for example, the resilience agenda, in a much more pragmatic way. We already tried to do this, but I have realized uh, through the discussions today that it, we're not really delivering uh, the guidance that is necessary for regions and country programs to work with this, uh, uh, with this kind of concept. In a